Sackness to me is a savior. When I was an undergrad, there's not much diversity in the sciences, and I grew up very, in a very cultural environment. You know, I have, I'm Native American and I'm Mexican American, um, and, and we have really strong roots and ties to our culture. So when I got to um, Berkeley and I was doing science, there wasn't a lot of people that looked like me, um, and I, I had never really experienced that. It was a big time culture shock. There were still Latinos, there were still um, African Americans, there were still Native Americans, um, around, they just weren't in the sciences. And women aren't in the sciences either. I've had classes where I've been the only female and the only minority on top of that, and it's really hard to, to deal with. So when I first heard about SACNAS, um, you know, I applied for their funding to, to come to the conference, and I didn't know anybody, and I just, he was like, okay, well, there's gonna be natives, there's gonna be Chicanos, I'm gonna go. I mean, they, they have to be more of us out there. And I came, and it was a, a it was truly a blessing because I looked around and I could see like the sea of brown faces that all looked like me, you know, in some way or another. Um, and it didn't make me feel so alone. So I came, I came to Sacnas, and I actually met a couple mentors here. You know, there was um, Kevin Stassen at University of Vanderbilt. You know, when I first got here, I went to one of his talks um, on astrophysics. And, you know, he talked about his family as well. He talked about how, how it is to be a, a Latino scientist. And it kind of struck with, stuck, stuck with me. And I went and talked to him afterwards. And I didn't realize how isolated I felt. Because when, when I went and talked to him, it kind of came out in this, like, gush of how lonely I had been, you know, how isolated I was. And I, I actually, at the time, I wanted to quit. And I didn't realize that I wanted to quit because there was nobody else that I could really relate to. Um, so he talked to me for uh, like a good hour, I want to say. It was a good hour. He came, you know, took me outside of the convention. We talked like on one of the balconies of the convention center, wherever it was that year. And just really talked to me about why did you choose to be sci a scientist? You know, what were the reasons that you did? Um, because that's really what your calling is. If you can get back to that, that's when, what's going to keep you here. And after going through Sackness, I went back to, to Berkeley and I was rejuvenated. You know, I was like, okay. I'm not alone. I'm not the only one doing this. I can do this. I can finish. Um, and I, re you know, I really like science, and I want to do that. So it, it made me feel a lot better that, without seeing people around, to at least know that they were there.